I travel into Mexico. I've lectured into Mexico. I love markets. Every country I've ever been to, I go to the markets. This is their art. They've set these things out to hope that you're going to buy, and they make them beautiful. I saw in the kids' work that they also had been to the, somebody did bags of oranges. I just love it because I love the colors. And he all went to some kind of flea market. I want to go to that flea market. This is Day of the Dead in Mexico. I've been there a couple of times, and I'm leaving again this year to go. Um, I'm interested in cultures and people and what they do. I photograph the flamingo dancers when I'm there. Flamenco, sorry. <laughs> Mar <laughs> Maro got me saying flamingo. <laughs> the flamenco dancers. Anyway, also in Mexico, this is a flour mill. This was very exciting. There was flour everywhere. Every time you took a step, more flour. Every time you, and these machines were going and so on, we were allowed to go in there and photograph. I don't think we would have been allowed to photograph in a flour mill here in the U.S., but you know, I get to see and do a lot of things. And it goes back to that book, all you have to do is ask. If you ask and the answer is no, then it's no. But if you don't ask, you never know. Bullfights. I've been to several bullfights down there. I go to where the, ma the, the matadors are, are dressing. And um, they're praying. This man that you see here is praying. It, this is the altar. His hands are here. They pray. They even go to the bull the day before and they ask the bull to please forgive them. That they're going to kill them, but please forgive them and please don't hurt them. You know, it's very important, very important to do that. This is the order on who got the bulls. The man was holding that behind his back. They pick, they've got six bulls and they, they have to, they've assigned them to these people that are going to be fighting. And here's a couple of the shots of the bull, the bull fight. This is Venice. I'm taking you to Venice, or sorry, Vienna now. I uh, went this past year. My brother-in-law and sister-in-law were living there, and, and we went for Christmas and New Year's. It was freezing, below freezing every day. I spent days out here watching the carriages. I would, I would go for a couple hours, and I'd have to go in to get warmed up, have some hot cocoa or something, and come back out. It was fascinating. The horses, the, the you have to have the, uh, the, the blankets have to be put on the horses. They have to move the carriages up. It, it's a whole ritual that they do. Here he is looking in the mirror, getting all spiffy for the day. I found it fascinating and nice people. One thing that I do, and, and I, everywhere I go, if I ask people if I can take their photograph, I send them photographs after, the, you know, after I've left the country. It's hard to keep track of all that stuff, but I think it makes the connection to people and, and they really appreciate it because I tell them I'm going to do it. I want to keep my word. I think that's important. This is my favorite one. I went to, uh, first time I've ever been to Italy, this was in Venice. I went for the, um, what's that festival they have? Carnival. What is it? Carnival. Carnival, thank you. Yes, I went for that. And I, I don't have any pictures to show you here, but that was great fun. This is in the Gobi Desert. I got into China, into the Gobi Desert. There's only one photograph to show you there. My daughter went with me on this trip, and we rode the camels at 5 o'clock in the morning. Okay, ballet. I also like, you know, again, I study Degas. I, I like to study all the artists. I wrote to 13 schools, and I said, I, I want to photograph in the style of Degas. I need, I've got a place to shoot, which was an old, old building, and I just need schools that I can practice on. So out of the 13 schools, six of the schools said yes, they would let me, they would come and I could photograph them. I gave everybody photographs, of course, again, and, and uh, they actually, this particular cl uh, school had the Degas costumes that year, which really was a big help. Now, that's my husband in the middle. <laughs> he volunteers for everything. Thanks, Harold, for volunteering for everything. I'm so happy. <laughs> He plays the clarinet with the Dallas Symphony, but uh, of course with the ballerinas, I don't think a clarinet would go, so I had to go to the pawn shop and get him a violin. <laughs> and this particular one, he was actually sitting there like that, reading the music, and I saw the shot. As a photographer, I'm always looking and seeing and trying to think of new, new well, I'm just always looking. And he was sitting there, I absolutely love. This is one of my all-time favorite photographs. Okay, mother, mother and child. I study for that was Mary Cassatt. And um, this particular one, the grandmother called me and said, I want you to photograph my daughters-in-laws and they're having babies and they had babies and, and I want you to photograph them right away. When I called this woman, she goes, I want to wait till my baby's six months old. I said, tell you what, let me test, 
let me try something. Bring the baby in, he's, he's two weeks old, let me just play. Well, this was wonderful. It's the first time I've ever, buddy, ever cut somebody's head off like that. It did win a, a huge award, but it's like I've started learning how to photograph and, and um, photograph mothers and babies in a new way. This is all done on film. Everything you've seen so far is with film. Uh, I've got a couple that are digital. I'm trying to cross over in the digital world. It's not easy. I still shoot film in the studio. Everywhere I go, I take my camera. I usually have a black and white film in the camera and, black and, and color film. Oh, did we see that twice? Am I seeing things? Or am I going the wrong way? Anyway, this particular one I did three generations a couple weeks ago. The mother and baby first and then the three generations. All done with film and window light. Um, this was taken in uh, Moto Beach. I've got, made friends all over the United States. By studying with JSTOC so much, I met other photographers in other states, so they always invited me to come back and, and shoot with them and, and play and, and so on and so forth. I think that's important as a photographer to play. Okay, now we've got the fish. I, I love fish, to photograph the fish. This was taken in Inner Mongolia. And as you can see, that's how, they pl how those fishermen place their fish here to me is art. It's their art. And I just think they're just beautiful. So I seek out the fish markets and the um, vegetable and fruit markets. You know, in, in Inner Mongolia, this particular market, I went there one year and went back the next. It would be very difficult to send them pictures. They're in the poorest city in Inner Mongolia, which was Jining. But I went back and I handed them pictures in the markets. I went back another year and I knew I was going. They gave me raw chicken, fried bread. They were so excited and so thankful. Um, you never know what's going to happen, what you're going to get, kind of like Forrest Gump. A box of chocolates, you never know what you're going to get. OK, this was in, in uh, Washington, DC. Yvonne, my mentor, said, Gail, come with me to Washington, D.C. It's spring break. Bring your kids. Let's go. And she said, but, she said, do not take your camera. I go, that's like, you know, cutting off an arm. I said, don't take my camera. I said, well, let me think about it. So I, I told her the next day, I said, okay, I'll come, but I'll only bring one camera. Well, thank God I did, because this was magical for me. This was in winter. This is the Capitol building. Um, I had, it was sunny the first day we got there and a blizzard the next day, and this was in March. And I got these three photographs. I was in heaven with the snow falling, the quiet. Um, it was just, that was magical again, high magic. Horses. Okay, I was in a convention in San Antonio, and it was a couple years ago when we had that freeze in San Antonio. It was very odd, very strange time of year to have it. Anyway, I was going south into Mexico driving. So the people that were going north were stuck in San Antonio, and I got to photograph ice on cactus, and I mean, this was, ma again, magical. It was freezing, let me tell you, it was cold. But um, it was fun, and it was a delight to do. It's just, this is what I like to do. This is my passion. The more you see, the more you see. It's